Hey castles, welcome back to more shop fun. <laughs> did I tell you what I was gonna call this place? I think I did. Welcome back to the weird and unusual boutique. And this is my baby, I guess. I don't know, I'm terrified. I hate, I hate doing things that people think is stupid because it's not the norm and it's just like you could easily fail, but I refuse. So, I should just stop thinking about what everybody else thinks. Why do I think so much about that? Note to self, who gives a shit? Got it, okay. Back to the shop. Last time you were here, you basically seen it kind of as it is. Not much has changed. Except I added this, I brought this. Today I'm gonna fill, damn it, I should've went to the, I'll still go. Okay, for this rack. Are your little piggies okay? You're chewing on your nail. Are they too long? Do they need to be clipped? Sorry. Checking on my dog. Okay, this rack. Jesus, get a hold of yourself, woman. I got this rack for free, so cool. It's kind of, it's just a piece of metal and it's really ugly to me right now, but I know it has potential. My mom was like, all you see is the rack, but just get some stuff on it. But my plan is to stick a couple of foam balls on these top ones so that I can sell some hats. I need to find out where I can get some like bulk bolo type hats. You know, not like a cowboy hat, but like a flat brim hat and some bigger, some smaller. But I want to like paint onto the top of them and adorn them and do some handmade hats, so to speak. Um, I've seen some really cool ones in my day going to multiple music festivals, so that's definitely something I'd like to do. Like, this space is gonna be really fun to be able to dive into some of these other projects that I wanna do. I'm hoping I can collaborate with some other people. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I brought my Sally Stitch dress form. I got that at a garage sale this past summer for 20 bucks from the church here in town. So shout outs to the fucking ladies at the church. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm gonna stick that over here in this empty spot where we don't have anything for now. Um, and I'm gonna put all the hula hoops that I want on this rack and just kind of like see what it's gonna look like and catch a feel for the vibes. So I'll be back in just a minute. Oh my God, it's hooked to me. Okay, so, so far we don't have anything as far as items in here besides hula hoops and some clothes. So I have a few pair of pants that I'm willing to part with that don't fit me any longer. Um, oh, okay. Um, very specific. These ones never fit me. I thought they were going to, but they are very Y2K, low rise type vibe. And I just feel like I don't like the short butt crack look. I think it's more flattering and high-waisted for me, but that's just a personal preference. Okay, those are up. I'm gonna put Sally over here. I love that I have a Sally. I have this over here. I'm not sure if it's really gonna stay. <laughs> <laughs> the mirror's gotta go. Honestly, I should just take it down. Well, oh. No. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna fall like there. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, should I keep it? Because then people can try on some of the jewelries and the gems that I have and like take a look. Imagine yourself in it. I don't know. Just a thought. Okay, back to the hula hoops on the stand. I love the goodbye guru and I don't want the guru to die. So I want a place to sell my hula hoops out of, but I don't want it to be the only thing that I do because I realized that vending hula hoops for many years, you really like sell yourself short of potential customers because it's a very niche. And granted, you love a fucking niche. It just doesn't leave a lot of room for like, you have to be somebody that's interested in hula hooping to want to buy a hula hoop. And especially a hula hoop that costs $30. So, just a thought. I'm trying to broaden my uh, horizons. Together. 
Ooh, and we'll have a pretty little rainbow section. Love it already. Oh yeah, that is for somebody already. filling it. I have a whole other bag and I started filling up a third little side. We're gonna see what we got here. <laughs> I got more rainbows, more glitter. My glam. More good vibes. Good vibe guru for president. Jesus. Whoa. I have a lot going on here. Okay, hold on. All right, look what we did. I don't hate it, honestly. Hold on, let me flip it. I organized them by color because I'm a nerd. And then I got three pairs of pants up here. Like I mentioned, like I mentioned, I'm gonna get some like foam heads, foam, put some fucking wings on them and a hat. Yeah. You know? Okay, now we're just zipping the hoops that I don't really want to put out for sale right now, which really isn't many, it's some unfinished ones. And, and then these are my personal ones, and I'm just gonna put this in other bag. I'm gonna start towing this around with me for a little while with all my props and then in my car. Now, oh, there's a couple rogue hoops that I left on the floor back here. I need to put those up. We're working. I'm wanting to get this place going. About a month around Black Friday is when we want to launch this bitch. So, we gotta get to work. My mom's gonna be gone for the weekend and then I'm gonna be gone until Wednesday. So, we gotta get going. I have an idea for that though. I think I can hang some clothes on that, some other pieces, some other things. Okay, let me finish this one sec. We will figure out the next steps in just a moment. My mom has this cool like jewelry wire frame. I don't know, she's gonna do something extra to this we're gonna make it look a little fluffier add like a background and then i think we're gonna hang some jewelry and other accoutrements from it this is really cool i'm actually kind of excited for this maybe i'll hang this up oh i'm gonna hang sideways i'm gonna hang this up where that mirror is at for now and see what it looks like hold on hey joel why you do that case over here we need to get a top for it because it's still topless and shelfless we did order brackets so that we could put some shelves in we're only gonna put two shelves but i kind of like that i'm not sure how i feel about her i don't know about you sally my mom's gonna work on bringing some stuff to go here so i need to get rid of those again because they don't get to stay now since we got my babies up, we are going to work on getting some lighting for here. I need some basic like white twinkle lights, some basic Christmassy lights. So thankfully 
tis the season to have a reason <laughs> to go buy some fucking Christmas lights, I guess. Um, Cause I think maybe I need to dust it off. First of all, I need to get a Swiffer thing because it's disgusting. Over here, you can tell that it was just in somebody's garage and we just like put it up. Cause look, it's got cobwebs and shit. Um, I think I want to like line it all the way around with twinkle lights. It needs something else. Maybe some sort of fabric. It needs some dimension. It needs some something. So maybe I can get, we need to figure out what our colors are. I did start writing out some stuff for a website, kind of like a description. I actually thought it was pretty good. Shout outs to ChatGBT for helping me out in a pinch. Our motto, where weird meets wonderful, a boutique beyond ordinary. I'm not taking credit for any of this, by the way. Shout out to ChatGBT. I just put in the keywords, the shit that I wanted, and it came out with all the good shit. I'm just gonna read uh, a little excerpt of what this says, because it's three paragraphs long, so. I'm gonna pick the second paragraph. A weird and usual boutique. <laughs> uh, forgive me, because my public speaking is terrible. <laughs> just kidding. Anyways. Step through the boutique's whimsical doors and discover a world of one-of-a-kind treasures. Every item on the shelves tells a story and has a carefully hand-picked or crafted a protective... <laughs> Started off strong and then we lost it there. Okay. Every item on the shelves tells a story and has been carefully hand-picked or crafted by the proprietors themselves. With an eclectic blend of homegrown plants but breathe into <laughs> You know what? Never mind. I'll just let you read it for yourself. How about that? Not today. Jesus. That was embarrassing. Sorry about that. I didn't, I didn't want to take it anymore. I didn't want to embarrass myself anymore than I already did. Okay, there's a couple of boxes here. First of all, this is a bread box. I like want to take this to my friend and be like, Actually, I have an idea for Christmas for her. I'm gonna take her a daily bread box and I'm going to... Projects. Okay. Not why we're here. So we got this box of like doilies and napkins and shit from when we got all this lattice and the display case back there. There were all these like cute little embroidered like napkins. They're just adorable. So we're gonna tie dye these bitches. We're gonna learn how to do some cool stuff. Like these could be a lot of fun. Um, and it looks like there's quite a few of these ones with the embroider. She has them being sold eight white napkins for $10. I'm trying to figure out how I can like sell these to hippies when I tie dye these. What are these for? Handkerchief? They can use those. Lux even blow their nose into heat. Uh, uh. But then there's like, what the hell is this? This says two piece scarf set with cutouts. What is this? This is not a scarf. There must be more in here, right? It's two pieces. I got the two. Um, there's these. Again, these are all like natural fibers. These are gonna tie dye really well. This might not because this is more of like a really silky material, honestly. Hmm. 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 Don't. <laughs> I'm just here in front of the window. Um, anybody can walk by and see me being a weirdo in here. It's fine. It's all fine. Okay, so I'm just going through this. Basically, you get the idea. There's shit in here that I can sell. We can upcycle it. I will donate it if I can't. But some of these definitely worth using. So I'm gonna keep this here. 
when my mom gets back, we'll spend the day doing some tie-dye. We need to spend the day bringing some of her shit down here. I need to figure out what kind of lettering and fontage we're gonna do for our window here, because I really wanna get that going. I wanna get, I need to get something in this window that says like coming soon. We need to get like some sort of advertisement in this window in the next two weeks. Like I need to create some buzz, so. Um, thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this little excerpt of what we're doing. I need to go start some laundry and switch some laundry over. I'm going to go to the craft store, not the craft store, I'm going to the Dollar General and I'm gonna get some foam heads and a couple more canvases because I have some more art that I need to work on. Um, I'm trying to have kind of like an artsy day, get some stuff done for the craft show because I need to have something for the craft show on the 11th next month. So one month away from that. So stay tuned for a video about my little journey there, our little setup. We are coming strong. And that's what I'm gonna do, bitch. That's all I really can do. Okay, until next time, bye.